Anatomy of Dicotyledonous and Monocotyledonous Plants Anatomy of a Dicotyledonous Root Epidermis The outermost layer is epidermis. It has a single layer of epidermis cells, some of which protrude to form root hairs. Cortex has several layers of thin wall parenchymatous cells with intercellular spaces. The innermost layer of the cortex is called endodermis. Endodermis, single layer of barrel shaped cells without intercellular spaces and contains Casparian stripes, water impermeable layer consisting of vaxis suberin. Pericycle. Next to endodermis lies a few layers of thick wall parenchymatous cells referred to as pericycle. It has thick wall parenchyma. In these cells, initiation of lateral cambium and vascular bundles responsible for secondary growth takes place. Fifth, it is small and inconspicuous. Vascular bundle. It is single monoarch. The parenchymatous cells which lie between the xylem and the phloem are called conjunctive tissue. There are usually two to four xylem and phloem patches. Later, a cambium ring develops between the xylem and phloem. All tissues on the inner side of the endodermis, such as pericycle, vascular bundles, and pith, constitute the stele. Anatomy of monocotyledonous root. The anatomy of monocot root is similar to the dicot root in many respects. It has epidermis, cortex, endodermis, pericycle, vascular bundles, and pith. As compared to the dicot root, which have fewer xylem bundles, there are usually more than six polyarch xylem bundles in the monocot root. Pericycle. Secondary growth is absent in monocots. Pith is large and well developed. Vascular bundle. More than six polyarch. Conjunctive tissue. These are the parenchymatous cells that lie between xylem and phloem. On maturity, cambium rings develop between xylem and phloem. Steely, it is a structure represented by all tissues on inner side of endodermis such as pericycle, pith, vascular bundle.